Hi everyone, welcome to Concept and welcome back to yet another video. In this video, we will understand a very interesting strategy on a different index. We will not understand the strategy on Nifty or Bank Nifty. You can under you know deploy this on Nifty and Bank Nifty as well, but we will learn this strategy on new index which has witnessed huge volume specifically on the option side. Okay, futures might not have started to witness a lot of volumes, but options. Trust me, it witnesses a lot of volumes on the option fronts. So in today's video, we will understand expiry day trading strategy for FinNifty. And trust me, this strategy is something what you should understand because it is very, very simple and very, very logical. And the reason you should start practicing something like this on FinNifty because it is the next uh, instrument, right? Uh, apart from Nifty and Bank Nifty, this is also an instrument or index which has witnessed significant value. And who knows that... You know, in the upcoming days, even this uh, becomes like a new thing, the expiry rate trading on Fin Nifty. Okay. So first of all, when does Fin Nifty options expire? Okay. So again, like uh, our Nifty and Bank Nifty, there are weekly uh, options over here, and as in there is weekly expiry for options as well as monthly expiry. So when this expires, so these options, they expire every Tuesday. And again, if, if uh, Tuesday is a holiday, then it would by default turn to Monday, right? So over here, expiry will not happen on Thursday. This expiry Thursday pe nahi hoga, so be cautious about that. This expiry will happen on Tuesday, okay? So yeah, and monthly expiry will be every last Tuesday of the month, okay? So now what is the trade? So see, the trade is very simple. Now, when we talk about expiry trade trading, one thing you should be very much cautious about, which is... Uh, the theta okay so theta you go across any stock any index the characteristics of theta right it is going to be the same it will not differ ki, okay reliance ki liye, the theta is uh, not decaying on uh, on the expiry day or fin nifty ki liye, it is decaying a lot on expiry day it won't happen it, it the characteristics will remain intact be it any instrument go to any index okay so now the characteristics of theta so for those who don't know what is theta theta shows us the decay in premium due to passage of time okay so theta decays very very fast when we are on the expiry day the closer we head towards expiry day the faster theta decay starts so now just check this thing out this is fin nifty uh, 28th february expiry theta decays 9 rupees that means if this option is held for one additional day 9 rupees is going to get decayed from this option because of time okay if i go to 6th uh, march 8 rupees if i go more forward then if you just see 14th march so it is illiquid completely right now so no point in going there but you know typically that is the characteristic that theta for the closest expiry the more closer we are to the expiry day more rapidly the theta start decaying and the highest theta decay happens on the expiry day itself right so what is the strategy so the strategy is that typically where what i have observed and what i have learned Optimize your options trading using Quantsap. Click the link in the description box below, apply code YTube and get a two days additional access to all the advanced option trading analytics and be a data driven trader with Quantsap. Thank you. So when you look at Fin Nifty's open interest data on the expiry day, you will generally notice that huge calls and puts are getting written around at the moment. Okay. Around at the money strike price, huge calls and put options are getting written. What does that mean? That means that participants are expecting a gyration in Nifty in Fin Nifty to happen. Okay, so I I'll show you. Okay, let let's let's just go to uh, trade recap and understand that. So let's say screen and yeah. By the way, I am using uh, uh, you know the largest option analytical tool uh, a platform wherein. You get 75 plus tools out here in our application through which you can take informed and data-driven decisions. So essentials are absolutely free for you to analyze something like option chain, which is essential. A trader can't trade without option chain, right? That has been kept free for everybody. So do not miss to sign up. Do not miss to access these tools and try out these tools. The link would be there in the description box below and also in the iCard out here. Okay, so let's just check for uh, two or three expiries how the data placement has been. 
of NFT. Okay, so I'm going to Tuesday. So trade recap will take you on a past day and it will show you on that day if you would have created any strategy, how it would have been performing. Okay, so I will not create any strategy as of now. Let's say 940. So here I go. So see, this is what I was talking about. See, cluster of call, put open interest, cluster of call open interest around at the money strike price. Okay. So let me just click on open interest and let me just expand this. Okay. So now just check this thing out. Now what you can see is what you can focus. See, the green color bars are showing us call over, red color bars are showing us put over. So huge call writing and put writing happening around at the money strike price. That means what? That if this is broken, this is taking a support. If this is broken, this is taking a support, right? There are multiple supports. If this is broken, this will be the resistance. This will be the resistance. So naturally, if I just see what I can make out is 18,000 on the downside and on the upside, 18,500, right? So roughly 500 points is somewhere the option writers are active on, right? They're ex the writer's activity is spread across 500 points in Finistry and you know, 500 points is a big thing to, you know, for the writers to capture. So now if I just check out the premium as well, right? So even if you create a straddle or a triangle, you will get a decent premium, right? Even a straddle will protect you by 18 to 100 plus uh, 60 plus 90, right? So it will protect you 100 to 90, 100 points up on the upside and also on the downside, right? Even a straddle, right? Strangle, you go far away, the premium inflow would be less. But even that is something which is, you know, manageable. But out of this, the conclusion is that a lot of fin nifty expiries, okay, what I see, okay, what I see, have seen a lot of call and put writings happening around at the money. Indication, conclusion that participants are expecting the instrument to gyrate, okay? And uh, first one we saw was around 500 uh, points uh, option writers activity. Now let's check what happened on 14th of Feb. Okay. Let's try two or three expiries. I will not try it out a lot because I have seen it. Right? Just, just check this thing out. You would not see something like this happening on Nifty or Bank Nifty very often, wherein they have huge calls and puts are getting sold around at the money. Right? Now if you see pure gyration. So now what will be the strategy I'll tell you, but now just check this thing out, right? Now just let me just reset it once, okay? And one last thing I will try out for one last expiry. Let's see what is the outcome, okay? And then I, we will come to strategy. Strategy is very simple. Now again, if I just show you huge activity spread across over here, right? in this zone and in this zone. If I just go to open interest, same thing, right? Let's check the activity. See, still this expiry is relatively small, right? But mostly net net, you will see a lot of writers active around at the money. So what is the strategy? So strategy is very simple. We know one thing that uh, the theta, it will decay at a very fast pace, right? So how can I capitalize on that? Okay. So one of the best ways to capitalize on that is a short uh, straddle, right? Short straddle has undefined loss. So be tight on your stop losses. Okay. So I'll just show you what we need to create. So let's say fin nifty sell ATM call at that point, whatever the ATM is, we will create on that. Okay. Good. Okay. Generally, this I will do when the market is not very volatile. Okay. If I already know that, okay, there is a big event coming up and a lot of volatility is playing out in the market. At that time, I will avoid such type of strategies. But this is what typically what will give us logically a very good outcome. So the outcome is such that first one, you are getting the highest theta benefit as you are writing on the expiry day. Second thing, you are not writing positioning. So even if anything goes wrong, you can still go ahead and exit that trade. If the stop loss jumps or something like that happens, you can still go ahead and exit that trade. Now, how do we manage it? Right? Set your stop loss alert as per your own risk appetite. Okay. Set your stop loss alert as per your own risk appetite. If I just go on create strategy alert. Okay. And if I just 
give any values, right? Let's say I want to trail my profit after uh, 2000 rupees, okay? And trail profit to 80% of maximum profit, okay? I want alert uh, whenever either, okay? So I'm giving random values now, obviously you need to calculate it. Let's say I want whenever it goes below minus 1000, okay? And whenever it goes above 1500, I want a notification. Just create alert, it will send you notification on WhatsApp mobile application as well as Telegram, okay? Other than that, you can also hedge that and convert, you know, buy those wings and convert it into iron fly, even that would be, you know, that would make sense. So now what the conclusion is, the conclusion is very simple that um, what we are trying to achieve to capture the highest data decay on fin nifty. And one more thing, which is not, I would, I will not say okay, this will happen 100% of the time, but what we have observed recently is, and we saw it all together, uh, you know, in the trade recap tool. Around ATM, a lot of writing is happening when we are on the expiry day of fin nifty, right? So a lot of writers are expecting gyration. So that becomes an additional plus point. Why fin nifty? Because who knows that might be the back, next big thing. And the strategy is very simple, short strategy, right? With a hedge, which converts into an iron fly, that will also do good. Or else actively monitor is the key if you are doing short straddle, be it nifty, bank nifty, or any other instrument. And uh, yes, folks, you can create such strategies in architect, analyze them and save your positions as well. Also, you can practice your uh, option strategies in trade recap tool. And whatever tools uh, I'm using out here, those are there right here on our app and accessible to us is within few clicks. So do not forget to sign up. The link is in the description and also in the iCard over here. And any doubt queries, you can reach us out on support at concept.com. Thank you so much. Bye-bye. Take care and have a happy trading day ahead.